chapter 2715 opens with Catherine stepping in to apologize to Liberty on behalf of Matriarch Farrell. She explains that her mother, Matriarch Farrell, is old and sometimes confused, attempting to soothe over the tension caused by the Matriarch's previous actions. Liberty, however, is resolute. She states that if Matriarch Farrell doesn't treat her as a guest, she sees no reason to stay and begins to leave the house with her bodyguards. Matriarch Farrell's reaction to this turn of events is a mixture of anger and realization. She knows that Audrey, Liberty's aunt, had earlier approached her to ensure that Liberty and Catherine both had the right to compete for the head position of the Farrell family. Matriarch Farrell had tried to use her status to belittle Liberty, but Liberty's strong stance caught her off guard. As Liberty reaches the door, Matriarch Farrell finally calls out to her, deciding to make a more conciliatory approach. She moves past Catherine, takes a moment to compose herself, and then gently addresses Liberty. She acknowledges Liberty's grandmother, her eldest sister, and states that Liberty, as her descendant, is indeed her junior, but should be respected as a guest and potential successor of the Farrell family. Matriarch Farrell's tone is now much more respectful and contrite, explaining that her earlier behavior was due to her age and confusion, and she formally invites Liberty to stay. This unexpected show of humility from Matriarch Farrell surprises Liberty, but she accepts the invitation and returns to the hall, surrounded by her bodyguards. The rest of the family members, who had previously stayed, seated, and quiet, now stand up, adjusting their attitudes to show respect towards Liberty. Liberty, accompanied by Catherine, takes her seat. She positions herself confidently, indicating her understanding of her potential role as a family successor. The atmosphere in the room shifts significantly, showing a newfound respect for Liberty. Catherine then makes a significant declaration to the family members present. From now on, Liberty should be treated with the same respect and consideration as herself, implying equality in their potential to lead the family. This chapter masterfully portrays the shifting power dynamics within the Farrell family. Liberty's assertiveness highlights her strength and determination, qualities that make her a formidable contender for the head of the family. Her refusal to accept anything less than proper respect forces Matriarch Farrell to reconsider her approach, leading to a reluctant but necessary reconciliation. Catherine's role is crucial in this chapter. Her apology to Liberty and her later declaration emphasize her position as a mediator and peacemaker within the family. She understands the importance of maintaining family unity and respect, even if it means challenging her mother's authority. This move not only strengthens Liberty's position, but also showcases Catherine's strategic thinking and leadership qualities. Matriarch Farrell's reluctant apology and the respect shown by the other family members underscore the complexities of familial power struggles. The matriarch's initial attempt to undermine Liberty reflects her fear of losing control, but Liberty's unwavering stance forces her to adapt. This shift demonstrates that true leadership requires respect and acknowledgement of all potential successors, regardless of personal biases. 
The chapter also touches upon themes of legacy and rightful succession. Liberty's acknowledgement as a potential successor honors the legacy of her grandmother, suggesting that true leadership should be based on merit and rightful lineage rather than manipulation and power plays.